hello hello everyone it's a beautiful day once again today yes my name is adisa adewale your real estate investment coach here in lagos nigeria and you know what i do i help nigeria in nigeria and nigeria in diaspora to get verified landed property and i can be your nest up when it comes to real estate yes I have a video that I want to show you um, in respect to the visit of um, the president of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, to Lagos on the 24th of January to inaugurate five major projects in one environment, Epe and Ibejuleki. So this video I'm about to show you now is a comprehensive video that is showing you the five projects and what are the impact of these projects to real estate company and investor in that um, environment. So you and as investor, we are telling you to position yourself in that environment because the land you are buying for 5 million right now, in five years, don't be surprised that you can sell it for 50 million. Don't be surprised that land you are buying for 20 million right now, in the next five years, you can sell it for 100 million because of why because of what anywhere you see the presence of government you always see massive massive development in that environment so now watch this video to the end and if you are just coming across my channel kindly turn on the notification bell so that anytime i'm bringing real estate tips you don't miss out please watch this video to the end and if you want to um, get any landed property in Lagos, especially Epe and Ibejuleki, you can contact me on 080-29415-698 and you can also visit our website www.gwhomes.com.ng for further inquiry. So watch this video to the end and see what I'm, I'm actually saying. Thank you. And at the end, please comment, share, and you can contact me for further inquiry. Thank you. Muhammad Buhari will be on a two-day working visit to Lagos State on the 23rd and 24th of January 2023 to commission various projects. In this video, I will be sharing with you details of the different projects the president will be commissioning in Lagos State. Lekki Deep Sea Port The Lekki Deep Sea Port was built on over 90 hectares of land at the center of the Lagos Free Trade Zone approximately 60 km east of Lagos. The seaport completion gives Nigeria its first brand new seaport in decades as it will be the most modern port in West Africa, offering enormous support and growth to the commercial operation across Nigeria and the entire West African region. Construction of the $1.6 billion deep sea ports began in December 2017 and the project was completed in 2022. The port is to be expanded to have a capacity of handling around 6 million 20 feet equivalent units TEUs of containers and a significant volume of liquid and dry bulk on containerized cargoes. The port is to be equipped with ships able to transport over 14,500 containers. Lekki Port Enterprise signed a 45 years concession agreement with the Nigerian Port Authority MPA to develop, build, own operate and transfer the Lekki Deep Sea Port. The Lekki Port Enterprise is a joint venture of Toleram Groups with 75%, Lagos State Government 
with 20% and the Nigerian Port Authority with 5%. The Lagos Rice Mill in Imota Ikorodu. The increasing population of Lagos states put pressure on the state food security, supply mechanism, and available infrastructure. As a result of this, there is need to prepare adequately to meet the challenge to upscale food production. The Lagos state government has therefore treated agriculture as both a business and development platforms with plans of using strategic partners to stimulate investments in the states. Part of doing this is the construction of the state-owned 32 metric ton rice mill at Imota, a district in Ikorodu area of Lagos. The rice mill is equipped with 16 silos with individual capacity of about 2,500 tons. The rice mill will ensure a steady supply of processed rice of about 2.4 million bags of 50 kg per annum. To meet the party requirements of the mill, Lagos state government is collaborating with other states like Kebi, Guara, Benue and Sokoto to make sure the required amount of paddy is available. For efficient management of the rice mill, the Lagos state government signed an agreement with Wakot Rice Limited, a subsidiary of TGI Group, to manage the Imota rice mill. Eleko to Ekweti Junction Express Road. The Ibeduleki to Ekweti Junction Express Road construction was flagged off on the 1st of November 2020 by the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Songwulu. The road is 18.75 kilometers, stretching from Eleko to Ekweti Junction. This is the first phase of the project. The second phase starts from Eleko Junction to Abraham Adesonya in Aja, which is about 26.7 km stretch. The road was constructed with concrete pavements because the area is flood prone and it is a very busy highway and also more industries are opening up around this area, which will make the express road more busy. This road will be used as template for construction of roads leading towards the Dangote Refinery, Lekki Ports and the Lagos Free Zones, as this road is the major highway leading to these industries. This is being done in order not to have repeat of a papa problem in this axis. John Randu Center for Yoruba Culture and History As part of plans to transform Marina and the Onikon region into a hub for tourism and recreational activity, the Lagos State Government remodeled the John Randall Arcade into a recreational and tourism center named the J.K. Randall Center for Yoruba Culture and History. After being demolished in 2016, the Lagos State Government announced the renovation of the center as well as the development of museums, cultural theatres and heritage centres under the tourism sector. The centre is the first of many initiatives aimed 
at the preservation of the heritage of Yoruba through the celebration and preservation of history and culture. The center will stand out as the first cultural center of its kind in Lagos. As a distinct from museum, the center will provide a flexible, undateable space for learning programs, art installations, and live music events. The John Randu Center will be a place of remembrance and reconnection for Yoruba and Africans from Cuba, Brazil, Haiti, America, and the Caribbean, as well as most parts of Nigeria, providing a vital injection of tourism to Lagos. The commissioning of the first phase of the Lagos Blue Line Rail and the groundbreaking for the second phase of the Lagos Blue Line Rail. President Mohamed Buhari will be officially commissioning the Lagos Blue Line Rail, which is the first of metro rail lines in Lagos. The Blue Line is a 27.5 km rail line that starts from Marina and ends at Okokomaiko. The project was divided into two phases. First phase starts from Marina and ends at Maitu with a total of five stations at Marina, National Theatre, Igomu, Alaba, and Maitu. The first phase is completed, while groundbreaking for the second phase will also be done by the President. The Blue Line, both faces, run on the surface ground along Lagos Badagri Expressway from Okokomaiko to Igomu and then run on an elevated platform from Igomu to Marina. <music>